Hey, I'm Nate, and I taught my 3D printer how to take time-lapse photos. I picked up this 3D printer. It's a VoxLab Aquila. I think that's how you say it. It's tons of fun, but taking a time lapse of the print is a little tricky because as you can see, the build surface is moving constantly. So if you use your camera's intervalometer, it gives you this stuttery mess of a time lapse. Luckily, Cura has a time lapse plugin that will place the build surface and the print head in the same spot after every layer. So what I need to do is rig up a button somehow that the print head can press, and I'll end up with a series of photos of the print in the same exact spot. I'm not the first person to do this. I got the idea from Great Scott's channel. There's also software called Octoprint that can take care of this digitally by using a Raspberry Pi camera module. But I really loved the idea of using a physical button and connecting it to a DSLR. So here's how it's gonna work. My Canon camera uses a 2.5 millimeter jack for controlling the shutter release. Other cameras might use different jacks, but the concept is the same. The jack has three conductors. The sleeve is neutral, the ring controls focus, and the tip controls the shutter. Completing the circuit from either neutral to focus or neutral to shutter will send a signal to the camera. I'm gonna be using manual focus, so I'm not even worried about this focus wire. So I'll just need to short the neutral and tip conductors in order to send the correct signal to the camera. Here's what that looks like. Let me short red and neutral. takes a photo out of focus, but it takes a photo. <laughs> okay, so the cable works. So here's what the rest of the setup is gonna look like. I've got the printer, the camera, a button, and a cable. After each layer is done, I wanna tell the print head to go to a certain spot, and if everything's lined up correctly, it'll press the button, triggering the camera shutter. Then it should go back to printing the next layer. And then once the next layer is done, it should return to the button position, press the button, and so on and so on. Easy, right? So far, this is all working in my head, but I don't have anything to mount the button on. But that shouldn't be a problem because I have a 3D printer now, so I can make my own button mount. So I took some rough measurements, opened up Maya, and started modeling something that might work. After a revision or two or seven, I had a mount that actually fit. I uploaded this model to Thingiverse if you want to print your own. Okay, so the mount is done. Now I need to wire up the button. These little tactile buttons are like 25 cents a piece and they're working fine for this. I glued the button to the mount with CA glue Then I soldered some wires to the button. And I hot glued the wires just to keep everything in place and insulated. Since I'm not gonna be doing a time-lapse for every single print, I might wanna unplug this shutter cable once in a while, so I'm using these cool male to female jumper wires in case I want to remove the cable without taking off the entire mount. Should save me some time later on. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, so moment of truth. Plug it into the shutter button, shutter input. Okay, we're pressing the button. See what happens. Yes! It works. This is where I started to get really excited because everything seemed to be working so far. <laughs> okay, it's mounted to the printer. Now I just need to find the correct position for the print head to be in in order to push the button. 
Starting at zero, I just move it over little by little on the x-axis until it triggers the button. The final measurement was around 217.5 millimeters. So back in the slicing software, I just tell Cura to move the print head to 217.5 and move the build platform to 110. The build platform is 220 by 220, so I'm using 110 just to get the build plate right in the middle. And with that, everything is done. Here it is in action. It's gonna finish up a layer. Hit the button. And we got a picture. Okay, now let's see uh, before and after. Here's what the time lapse looked like just using an intervalometer, taking a photo every five seconds. And here's a time lapse using the button mount. way better. I did a few other prints as well. Yeah, these prints aren't the highest quality, but I don't even care. <laughs> I've only had the printer for a couple weeks, so I'm just happy that the photos are working. I think I need to tweak my retraction settings, but I can mess around with that. Even the failures look pretty cool. So I gotta say, this project was so satisfying. I didn't invent anything crazy here and I'm just copying other people's ideas, but it was really fun solving these problems and getting actual results in the form of these photos. Got me excited to see what else I can do with the printer. Octolapse might be next, but we'll see. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.